Okay, thank you very much. My name is uh, Oriol Lopez. I work at the Universitat Autonoma de Barcelona at the Transmedia uh, Catalonia Research Group. I am a man, red haired, um, I'm wearing a pair, a pair of glasses, and I am speaking from my house with some uh, nice rally cars uh, photos in my in my background. So I am about to start sharing my screen. So yeah, um, today I'm presenting um, So Close. So Close is an H2020 uh, funded project as well. Um, and the, the, the main objective is enhancing social cohesion through sharing the cultural heritage of forced migrations. Um, um, uh, so close as, as it uh, says here, this slide is a three year project created to contribute to social cohesion and fight refugee marginalization or exclusion by facilitating the encounters between similar life stories through the mediation of innovative digital and artistic tools. Based on theories of cultural heritage making, so close will improve social cohesion and promote mutual understanding between refugees and their local communities. Um, but what does it mean? Uh, at the end, we are taking uh, life stories from people uh, that has uh, fled in recent uh, migrations um, from, from the uh, 20th century. And we are making the link with uh, these life stories from people that is currently uh, migrating during, during migrations. Um, at this slide, you can see the different countries that are participating at this project, uh, that is uh, Sweden, Poland, Italy, Greece, and, and Spain. Um, so for doing this uh, project, uh, there's a collaboration of nine partners. Two of them are universities that the, the that's the Barcelona and Lund University from from Sweden. Then three partners on the tech side, uh, engineering, the Tempesta, and then the third. And then uh, here there's a, a specific role of four other partners that are the cultural institutions that are Biladesius, Montesole, uh, Mume, and the Greek um, Forum of Refugees. That these four partners uh, play a key uh, role that I'm going to explain um, right now. Um, for so close, uh, so close is structured in six, six work packages. Um, the first work, was, work package was to design this uh, co creation paths on um, how to identify or how to um, extract these life stories, how to compile them, and how to make uh, the final bridge between uh, recent uh, migrations and current migrations. Um, the second work package was to uh, design uh, which tools uh, are going to be created uh, for um, and for creating and for uh, participants to share their, their cultural heritage. Then work package three is to definitely uh, creating these, these, these tools and, and the toolbox development and the memory, the memory center platform. This work package three, um, the main objective is to create uh, this platform that will uh, group the different, the different tools and inside these tools, uh, there will be the, the live uh, story sharing. Then work package four is implementing these, these tools and, and doing these pilots in the, the four cultural uh, institutions. And then work package five and, and six, work package five is communications and work package six is um, the project um, management. Uh, here, what is important is to, to really understand the, the first uh, uh, four work packages. The first one is to really understand um, how are we, as, as I said, no, how are we going to identify um, the cultural heritage that, that was uh, done um, through interviews to four different stakeholders, policymakers, the NGOs, the refugees, and researchers, uh, people linked to, to university. Um, and from here, we, um, we are about to, to finish this, this work package. And from, from here, we are going to identify um, which tools are they using for um, uh, telling and for sharing this, this cultural heritage. 
work package two will be focused on uh, on running uh, focus groups with these uh, four different stakeholders on going in more in more detail in more depth in this understanding from from the the, the interviews work package three takes these learnings and and, and creates the the tech uh, the tech tools and then work package four is it's on implementing it so it really uh, has um, uh, a flow between the, the different work packages. Um, as I said before, uh, the, there are these uh, four um, cultural institutions um, because in every country, the uh, recent uh, migrations that I explained before um, are going to be different. No? In, in, in Poland, they are looking uh, for people that had uh, that made displacement after the Second World War. Um, Montessori in Italy, they are um, understanding violence against civil, uh, civilians during the Second World War. Uh, the Mume in the, the, the Museum of, of, the, of the Exile in, in Spain is studying the civil uh, exile during the Spanish uh, Civil War. And then the Greek Forum of Refugees they are uh, understanding the political persecution on, on women and termen during the Greek uh, civil war. So these uh, four countries, they will have uh, different um, approaches to the understanding the recent migrations, and then they will be creating the bridge um, to, to these uh, current migrations. Um, in terms of, of accessibility, I wanted to share some, some key points. Um, the first point was that uh, the interviews from Work Package 1 um, happened uh, during the COVID-19 lockdown. So here we had to really adapt um, going digital, uh, understanding which tools we had to, to use both for a translation and transcription of, of the interviews. Then, of course, we are uh, taking accessibility to the, to the web page and, and all communications. Uh, we are um, including accessibility from, from scratch uh, from the Word Package 3 that is creating the memory center platform, the tools and the different projects. Um, now that we are finishing the interviews and the focus groups, uh, accessibility is key there. Um, as uh, Maria and Pilar were, were mentioning before, um, here we had some troubles with uh, the Greek as uh, the tools that there are for transcription um, are not very much adapted to uh, non-Latin uh, languages. Um, but we sorted out uh, this with uh, translator, translators and, and, and people that made uh, transcriptions. And then there are two other points that want, I, I wanted to highlight, that it's the, the access to open access software. At the Memory Center platform, these tools are going to be uh, available for, for, for downloading. Um, so we need uh, to, to take accessibility into account um, there. And, and not only at this software, but in all uh, generated uh, knowledge as uh, publications, uh, conferences, or, or whatever. Um, so that's my presentation for so close. If there is any question, I, I have put here my email or the, the web page. <laughs>